Howdy, it's Maximus here, this time with a quick review of a PNC 3209 open pair head ratchet. This is a pretty coarse ratchet, I think it's like a 32 tooth. Pretty common style. L looks kind of similar to a Thorson, although the one unique thing about this particular open head ratchet is it's rebuildable. Every one of these types of open head ratchets I've seen this far, uh, whether it's Thorson or Indestro or even like the Klein Iron Workers ratchet, they're all press fit together. But this one's interesting because you can see there's actually a lock ring here and this anvil is loose. And then this piece here and this piece here are actually washers. So you can pop this out, push the anvil out, and then slide it all apart. I don't think I'm going to take this apart because uh, it's not super interesting. Also, the pivot pin is not pressed. It is a screw. So you can actually rebuild this. And I thought that was pretty interesting. But this is generally a ratchet. I, unless you're a hardcore collector, I wouldn't recommend it. This is actually one that I'm going to end up uh, donating myself. I have plenty of ratchets. And unfortunately, even though I like that it's an old PNC, this was a tool company that was based in Oregon. And then ended up merging or, or getting bought out by Proto, I think sometime in the 60s. So that's what happened to them, is they got absorbed by Proto, which is ultimately Stanley Black & Decker. The reason I don't recommend is, even though it is rebuildable, obviously you can't get parts for it anymore, that nature of being rebuildable, a lot of anvil play. I mean, this anvil is all over the place. Not just that, but we can see how much we can move it here before it even starts ratcheting. So even though it does have a nice strong detent, and actually sounds pretty good. It just has way too much play. Here's an example. Just to get it to click, we're going to align it. <laughs> that was ridiculous. And then you can see how much it comes back to actually engage. Two. That was only three teeth. Uh, it just has so much play that if you're in a position where it's tight, you could be working the ratchet this far. I mean, like really far. You could be working the ratchet and you're not getting any clicks out of the darn thing. And you can see how much it's just rotating about uh, the actual through anvil. So kind of disappointing there. Just so much play that it actually really harms the usefulness of this ratchet, even though I kind of like it. I don't mind open head pair ratchets just because... They do have compact heads being open. There is, of course, grit can get in there. You can drop them and dan ding up the teeth. And I should so many other brands at least put like some kind of metal protective cover on their uh, open head ratchets. This is a Thorson here. This one's totally open and it does make it more compact, but it is just a little bit more exposed. At the same time, you get a very large ratchet wheel. You get very heavy duty teeth. And these things, generally speaking, are pretty darn reliable ratchets. And for the amount of strength that they give you, they're actually reasonably lightweight just because, you know, you have so much less material. So anyway, that was my little review of a uh, PNC uh, open head ratchet. And just wanted to share it with you all. Mainly because it's the first one that I've ever seen that actually is intended to be disassembled. Or like Thorson's and everything else. I mean, all the components on these are actually press fit together. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.